this finance video we're looking at receiving a payment. Okay, so I'm logged in as the accountant and I've received um, some payments from a customer so I want to go and apply those in the cash receipt journal. So I've got the cash receipt journal on my ribbon bar. Okay, I've got different batches I can choose. So if you've got um, several people working in the office, they can work on their own batch with their own individual number series. Now is that recommended? Because if, if more than one person tries to use the same batch, they end up conflicting, don't they? They do, yes. So it's uh, a good idea that everybody has um, their own batch with a different number series. So everybody can carry on working without causing any issues. Right. Okay, I'll use the bank payments. Okay, and I've got the posting date in there. And the document type is payment. The document number is coming up automatically because I've got a number series attached to my batch. And it's coming from a customer. So I need to find the account number. If I know the number, I can type that in straight away. But at the moment, I'm searched on the name from the uh, filter applied there. So I can go and have a look by name or by number, depending on where I've got that set. OK, and I put in the amount that they've paid. So I've had a payment in for that amount and I need to go and apply that now on their account. So I go into apply entries or shift and elef sorry, shift and F11 for your keyboard shortcuts. And the, the balance account type and account number that came up. Yep. That is set against my batch name. I see. So you don't have to default um, a bank account in there. It depends how it appears on your bank statement. Right as to how you want to post it because if you're paying in a batch of cheques you don't want individual lines to post to your bank because they're going to appear as a total balance of what you paid in so if you've paid in free cheques you don't want a balancing account type there you'll have to put a balancing account type on the fourth line okay okay so if i apply the entries and i can see that matches that line there. So here it's going into the system and it's looking for the customer entries for our customer, it's filtered down and we just look for the ones that match. Yep. So you'll see at the moment I've got a balance to apply here. If I press set applies to ID, you see that balance is back to zero. That's not posted to the account as yet. So I say OK to post it to the customer's account and you can see as you're going along you've got, is it applied? Yes. I've also got a balancing account here. So you can see the total balance is back to zero. Post that. And that's successfully posted and on the customer's ledger. So if we go and look at the customer card, we'll see that against there? We will, Andrew. yes. So let's go and have a look at the customer. OK, and we need to go into ledger entries, into the history of the account. And we can see there we've got a payment of 63,000. And I can go into there and I can have a look at the applied entries. So I can see that was in applied against invoice document 11. You can do it the other way around as well, so you could find your invoice number and you can have a look at what payment was applied. You can see it was the one received on the 26th of January that we just posted.